Hello, everybody. Let's quickly have a chat. Right. Frank the Tank has been sorted out. I've done the oil pressure switch. I've done the fuel filter kit. Rode it now for about two days. Loving it. Um, it's completely sorted again, so we'll most probably take a, a route at some stage again. Today's video, what I want to talk about is Tune ECU software and the hardware that goes with it from Lone Lake. Guys, uh, the video I'll show you how we set up. We do fault code clearing on the bike. We actually connect directly with the ECU, do fault code clearing. We test injectors, O2 sensors, and a bunch of, a bunch of other stuff. This is not a Game Boy quickly log in and be let loose on the bike and do a few changes. You can screw it up. Really take caution if you have one of these kits and you know how it works. Um, good. You know what I'm talking about. You'll appreciate it. Uh, when working on maps on motorcycles, especially on the KTMs, just like any other motorcycle, like your 1200 Super Deniers, uh things need to be done according to steps. You can greatly enhance your bike and you can really screw it up as well. If you do maps, and the one thing that I've learned with uh, the maps, I did a bit of research and had a look at maps available for these motorcycles. And the name that continuously comes up is Zuba. Zuba is with the Adventure Riders Forum and he's been writing and adapting maps for the last 10, 12 years at least. So when people talk about maps, he would be the go-to guy. And if he leaves a comment, people listen. Uh, he knows what he's talking about. So I appreciate that. The Tune ECU software ties in with the Lone Lake hardware component. Tune ECU software has been written by Alan Fontaine. And as far as I can see, <clears throat> it goes back to about 2009 up to 2022. You had it in a laptop version. You had it now in Android version. You could use tablets, cell phones, it doesn't matter. But the Android version on your cell phone has a little bit less functionality than your old laptop. The laptop version has been discontinued. There's more support on it, unfortunately. But you can delve very deep into your map tables. <clears throat> you can make changes. You can have a look, especially on your Triumphs, your older, uh, not older Triumphs, well, maybe older Triumphs, uh, the 900s and so. You can literally download your map, open your map on Tunis, look at your tables, and then actually rectify some of the uh, emissions that have been coded in by the manufacturer. And just give you that little bit of a bump at the bottom. One of the Zuba maps for the 990 bumps it up to 118 horsepower. Obviously, you have to have an um, Acropovic pipe system at the back. There are certain things, and on this, in this case, it wasn't a Rottweiler conversion that he had. He had actually the standard airbox with standard air filter or cane in. But guys, you'll, I'll, I'll talk you a bit through the video. We'll show you a few things and how we... Um, Reset the, the throttle position sensor. It's a small, small little hole that we drilled into the side of the airbox. You can do things on these bikes. It's just you need to take a bit of caution. But they are so rewarding. And if you haven't ridden a 950 or 990 yet, guys, you miss out. Really, this is actually this is actually a bad bike. It's a terrible bike because when you ride one of these. It does everything well. Um, it doesn't really mind me on the seat. I don't have too much of a problem. This is actually a big scrambler that's capable of doing over 200 kilometers per hour easily. But it does everything so good that most other bikes tend to get lost and you are not really satisfied riding them. But you have to have ridden or owned a 950 or a 990 to understand it for me the 1190 is more geared towards the gs uh, it's a gs market uh, the 1090 
is lost in the middle somewhere. He's got a bit of an identity crisis. I'm not sure he's not a 1190, he's not a 990. What is he? But I've never ridden a 1090 before. That's just the normal perception that I get. So I don't judge on that. <coughs> but 950, 990, awesome bike for me. I doubt, I always keep the Africa Twin. But uh, I will most probably just buy another motor for this thing. And if it does pack up or whatever the case may be, well, I'll just buy another 990. How's that? Yeah, I think that sounds like an idea. But anyway, I'm talking too much. Um, have a look at the video and check out the Tune uh, ECU software. I'll put the links at the bottom. I'll put the links in the description. If you are planning on buying this, ask away any question that you have. We'll... I'll send you to the Adventure Riders Forum. Have a look at their reviews. <clears throat> These guys do know what they're talking about. And get yourself a set of uh, Tune ECU software and learn the hardware component and start doing a bit of work on your own bike. But I hope you'll be doing a way a lot more riding in 2022 than in 2021. I'll definitely be looking at that. Cool. Until our next video. We'll see what comes up. I'll be doing a, a 950 and 990 history segment. Watch out for that one. You guys enjoy it. Until later, cheers everybody. Right everybody, it's time we start reassembling the intake system. We'll do the throttle bodies. I have changed the oil switch. Very important one of the first things if you ever get to a point where you disassemble the intake system the very 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 first thing that you do take rags plug the intake holes don't forget about it if something falls in here it's a it's a mission to get it out so guys please rags immediately Whatever you do, take the airbox off, rags in, carry on with your work. Okay, um, I'll be doing maybe a bit of time lapse, or I'll show you when it's assembled. One of my previous videos shows this step where we remove everything. Obviously, I'm going to concentrate on the TPS. Cool, I think let's carry on, and uh, I'm fairly sure we'll get it done. Today's thought. Right, the footage <coughs> might be a bit shaky. I want to actually show you where the oil pressure switch sleeps. There. Front intake, rear intake, from the top, right there. Oil pressure switch. Cool, let's carry on. Well guys, um, I've got one tank on, sort off on this side, I've closed up the intake system, fastened everything that I've loosened, removed the headlight fuse, um, I'm going to be doing the TPS work now, no. I don't want the headlight to be burning the whole time. I'll show you now with the camera, I've actually drilled a small hole on this side which actually corresponds exactly with the TBS side so I will be removing this again to be able to do the adjustment with everything on but here we go this is going to be the first start so let's see Ian you had a question you wanted to see it start so the tank is still dirty everything let's just get it up and uh, see that we don't run any error codes so far so good neutral and oil light so the main objective obviously is also the oil pressure sensor switch oil light needs to die let's give it a go and see
seems to be doing his job. Give it a restart again. Happy days so far. I think now I'll remove everything on this side and start setting up the laptop, ah, which I have at work. I'll use a tablet. And then we will carry on. Stay tuned. Right, we're back. Uh, right, um, laptop not here. So, use the phone. Tune ECU software from Lone Lake. Spelling, spelled it right. It's a dongle which connects to your motorcycles, well, KTM specifically, or Triumphs, or quite a few, well, anyway. It connects to your ECU, I'll quickly show you here. That plug goes up, 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 into that box, and then it connects to your application. In order for this to work, now guys, this is important. A lot of people have done it, and I've tested it now, and I'll quickly go a bit more in detail into in, in the video. Uh, the bike is hot currently. The aim for me for today is to actually drill a little hole in the airbox, very little hole, and I've made sure that it's really just, just. So if you have a look in here, right at the bottom, somewhere there, mm, can't really see there, but your TPS throttle position sensor is loosened with this screwdriver and fastened and I've gained access through here through this inspection hole to actually adjust you see there it is to do the uh, throttle position sensor adjustments that chap there with a wiring. Okay. okay. So what you want to achieve is with the TuneCU software, the optimal setting for the 990 is 0 0.6 volt on your throttle position position sensor, and it shows it on this side as six percent. So I've achieved that. I'll see if I Switch the bike on. All right, fan is off. Okay, so it's not going to be noisy, which is nice. So this chat now will connect to the ECU. Video might video might be a minute or two or three longer, but uh, worth a while. Check it out. Come on. Establish connection. Not going to start it now. Let's quickly disconnect and let's quickly reconnect. It's coming up with KTM, which is fine. All right, I'm going to zoom in here a bit. Um, the phone shows it clearly. Sure. All right, but anyway, there's a bit of a delay, but that is 6%, it's 79 degrees, and you have a bunch of additional features. You can have a look at your maps, download your maps, and do quite a bit more. Your pressures, oh, wait a minute, okay. No, 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 I need to adjust that. Temperature, TPS 6%, all right. Okay, I'll have a quick look at that. Point nine one. All right, I'm going to reset faults, and then I'm going to do a further adjustment and get rid of the point nine one and bring it down to point six zero. Cool. So that's loosening it and doing the adjustment on the inside. All right, I'll carry on with the video now. Let me just quickly do this adjustment. It's a bit noisy. 
and grill chat now. Welcome back, everybody. Let's quickly carry on. We have checked the error codes, cleared the error codes. Sorry, you, you won't most probably be able to see a lot on the screen, um, unfortunately. So let's quickly have a look at diagnostics. Let's do test and adjustments. First, I'm going to run the tachometer, do a test on the tachometer. It's doing its test there in the front. Next test will be the fuel pump. Uh, the bike is still stripped. Just running all the diagnostics. Okay, idle and speed control. I don't think I'll be able to run that because it's not idling. Test in progress. Oh no, it's actually testing it. It's done. Injector one. Let's test injector one. Injector two. Ignition coil 1, ignition coil 2, O2 sensor 1, give that a burn down test. Look, I'm not going to run through all these tests now, I'm still busy with the bike. No, they're not that many, but we can do extensive testing here. I'll just see how the footage displays on the camera. We'll work with on that, sorry. Um, okay, I'm first going to close that out. Error codes, reading codes, no error codes, I cleared the codes, I'm happy with that. And I think that, let's disconnect on the ECU. That concludes my test for tonight on the 990.